Hey, now my viewers, it's time for Let's Play Anabobo Vulture. Yeah, it's me, folks. It's Bobo the Vulture. It's, um, Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. They sell food and general goods here. No, they don't. That was the other building. This is just some place where... Oh. It's some place where there's nothing. Just a way to get around to that, uh... Treasure chest that I've already picked up. In a relatively straightforward puzzle. Anybody living over here? Is this another empty house? Man, Sir John should have bought all these empty buildings. He loves buying derelict buildings. Well, you can derelict. My, yeah. Um, so, the hospital bed is empty. Pretty much as far as I can tell, we're never going to use that part again. Let's uh, come in here. See the guy that does all the smelting. Hey, smelter. Helter smelter. I could stock iron ore. That actually seems like a good idea. I might do that. Anybody in here? Nope, nobody in here. Nobody in this room. What were you looking for? Some of the uh, transportation companies to get supplies up here. Ah, I don't know. Like somebody that has like a trade caravan or something? Something like that? You know what's up here, folks, don't you? If you don't, you're about to find out. Right, a dude and a shack. Wait. Does that shack have a door to it? Could I actually get in here if I had the patience and wherewithal? I used to get gold and silver out of these mines, but not so much lately. The iron's still coming though, so it's not a total loss. Cancel. Where'd you come from anyway? I don't recognize your face. I'm Vanilla, the charitable admirer. Oh, oh, see so that charitable admirer guy. I was thinking you were the gigantic clock. Say, would you mind doing something for me, maybe? Uh, what is it? Just tell me. What is Or, that's probably supposed to be exasperated. What is it? Just tell me. How can I help? Thanks, I really appreciate it. You can probably tell this mining town is pretty run down. Though we do still get iron ore. We just don't have enough workers to produce the volume necessary to turn a profit. So I'm looking to hire more miners. It might be a waste of time, but I have to at least try. What I'm asking you is... I'd like you to run a classified ad for us in the Happy Garland newspaper. The newspaper of Happy Garland. In exchange, I can give you some of our stock shares. Now you do that for me? Sure. I do appreciate it. Hey, and now we got more business in town. I feel like you have to be able to get into that tiny shack. Remind me that I want to try to do that later. But right now, I'm going to go into your Riddick mine. Come on, folks. Treasure dungeon. Everybody loves treasure dungeons. Hey there, friend. Hey there, friend. Are you here to mind? Then fix yourself up right here. Let's, uh, replace some frames. Actually, let's repair a few. Now, let's replace some frames. Let's, first of all, let's change the right arm frame. Let's change it to a sword arm. Try an arm, I'm just afraid it's gonna break. Yeah. 
Can I use the trident arm? I can always come back and repair with this guy. Things go too bad. I changed my back frame. That sick bed thing is just weird. Let's go ahead and use a big flat bed. Oh, just over on weight. Nuts. Carriage is just as heavy. Emergency bed is one of the lighter ones. Man. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter. You can just put the wide basket back there, or the wide tanks. Actually, hang on, I should probably repair. Not really worried about the fuel, though. I shouldn't run out of fuel in a dungeon. Oh yeah, that's some echoey. Are you hearing this, um... Are you hearing this dungeon music? Oh, it's one of you guys. Yeah, come on, go for a charge. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done, self. Nobody here but us chickens. And some treasure. the treasure. Yes, the treasure of spoiled meat. The real treasure is spoiled meat. So, anything in this camp I can uh, loot? Give me a loot! No. Cannot loot through the camp, apparently. Alright. That's uh, one side of the weak level down. Let's... Uh, Look over here. Oh, good. Friggin' Triclops. My favorite. He's defeated anyways, he took a lot of uh, hit points off of me, but um, he's defeated. Wait, is that another one? Another friggin' Triclops? Yes it is. Whoa, it is an armored Yeti. At least I seem to have taken out his uh, ranged weapon. He can no longer kill me. I did get a lot of UR for defeating him. This dungeon's boss has been defeated. This mine has been cleared. I'm going to continue exploring. Because, no, I haven't really cleared the dungeon. There's a lot of dungeon left. And there's still treasure. I would have missed this spoiled meat. I wouldn't have been able to forgive myself if I missed this spoiled meat. Okay, come here, dig dog. Hit the wall. Okay, nothing else really going on in here. I 
pretty much have to go back by around by the entrance before I can uh, go to, to explore any other parts of the dungeon at this point anyway. So I guess I'll go ahead and get repaired. Yeah, I'm navigating by the map. Check me out. Woo! I'm pressing analog sticks to move a giant or a tiny pink icon around. Look at me. Woo! Hey there, friend. Yeah, I'm here to mine. I'm here to repair. I'm here to refuel. Wow. Thank you. Come again. Boy, that was a lot of damage done. See the needle and the damage done. Little part of it and everyone. Wait, there's treasure right here I should probably pick up. A wooden bear. Throw you! Throw you again! Nice! And the big problem with the Shryklaus is just you can't pick the darn things up. And what are these little mounds? Oh, they're just rocks. Are there any other enemies here? Take that other rock. Yes, and moldy bread. This is exactly what I come to dungeons seeking. And 25 you are. This has gotten way exciting, hasn't it? I know, it's my uh, sarcasm. Oh, sarcasm, eh? Yeah, I'll go ahead and exit to you, Ritika. I will go ahead and exit to you, Ritika. Which was once a prosperous mine. You're not gonna do once I'm back in Eureka? I'm gonna pivot and walk right back in here. Let's just descend to the middle level. Oh, and you saw what thrills the uh, the weaker level, the weak level had. Maybe this middle level will be uh, double mint, double mint cool, double mint fresh. Double mint deadly. Hey there, friend. Are you here to mind? Then fix yourself up right here. No. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead. I was thinking about cutting the video here, but what the hey, let's make it a long one. Okay, there is an enemy. Got you, dig dog. Yay, I got you are. I got you are. I am faster than you. Take that, Triclops. Alright, I've found a reasonably effective uh, strategy for uh, dealing with Triclopses. That makes me kind of happy. Triclops is pretty much being the big pain of the butt I've had in the game so far. Just checking real quick, make sure there's nothing over here before I turn around to see what, uh, okay, it's a scarab. You guys I recognize. I'm hitting you. Hitting you. Come on, charge. I picked you up, and now I'm gonna throw you. Now I'm gonna throw you again. Huh. 
Pretty much picking up and throwing things is about as effective a technique as you can use in this game. It takes up... <sighs> moldy bread. How much moldy bread and spoiled meat do I have at this point? Item. Have ten moldy bread. Eight spoiled meat. I'm just curious now whether or not I have so much moldy bread that it's going over to an extra now. I have a film. I have, now I have just one spoiled fish. Alright. Now, so there we go, folks. Uh, that one corner of the map is gonna bug me. I don't think it actually has any impact on anything. I know there's not a treasure chest down there. I would have been able to see it. As um, far from perfect as my eyesight is, if any of you have seen me playing uh, the Let's Play Together, even though it is a one-player game of Dynasty Warrior 7 that Mysterious JG and I am doing, I have a very hard time reading the map. Yeah, take this, sucker. You just gotta have speed and grace. That's the way. Uh huh. Alright, so that's another big chunk of this dungeon. Uh, but yeah, if anybody who's been watching that LP knows, uh, I have a hard time reading the map in that game. That's one of those newfangled systems where they think that you have. They basically presume that you have a 70-inch uh, television and um, that it runs in 1080p, or I, or whichever one is better. 1080p I. Alright. Oh, there's no enemies, no challenges in here. And no treasure. Treasure up here, though. Spoiled meat. Great. Now I have... Does that bring me up to 9 or 10 spoiled meats? And a scarab. Hey, a topaz. That actually is pretty good. It's good to find precious stones. There is a character in the game. Alright, this is actually something I was curious about. Now that I have 10 moldy bread... Do they still stack in the same place? Okay, so I can have, I can get up to 99 moldy bread by, uh, I can and probably will get up to 99 moldy bread. If I approach you from behind, no. Pick you, pick you up and throw you. Throw you some more. Yes, bet it all on a game of pitch and toss and lose. And begin again at your beginnings. You'll be a man, my son. Alright, so there's one of these uh, digger dudes in here. Dirk Diggers. Hey, more spoiled meat. Just what I was looking for. Alright, buddy. Charge. Darn it. Look, Dig Dog, you have caused me way more grief than one of you guys are supposed to. Give me your loots. Time for me to thrust my way through this little aspect of the dungeon here. Okay, nothing going on. Now let's just walk back a little bit more. Oh, it actually waits until I've seen the hit before it will scratch that off the list. 
fine. They didn't want to not spin around and look at the wall there anyway. You believe me, don't you? Fans at home? Of course you do. Of course you are. Now then. Let's look at this next chamber. Oh, okay. Seems like a nice, quiet little chamber with a uh, little bit of treasure over here at the camp. Little treasure. The real treasure is spoiled meat. Don't let anyone tell you that, folks. Anybody tells you that, they're a liar. They tell lies. Hey, look. Treasure. Come on. Moldy bread. Moldy bread. Everyone loves moldy bread. Now then, you can be pretty sure that the guy that's in here, yes, is the boss of this dungeon. Alright, I've taken out his uh, side there. Not very good at reacting to the spikes, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to finally break this spiked ball, and then I will get to see what happens with it when I. Oh, okay. It essentially can't be used now. It is a piece of junk. Now, is there any treasure in here? There is not. The dungeon's boss has been defeated. This level has been completed. Or cleared. Let's explore another level. Let's descend to the deepest level of the dungeon, folks. The deepest level of the dungeon. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Let's get everything repaired. Hey there, friend. Are you here to fix? Yeah, I'm here to mine. I'm here to uh, repair. Alright. Okay. So, wait. He can't save my game? He sure can't. I was thinking he'd be able to save my game. That's alright, though. He can't save my game, folks, but I'm gonna Iron Man it! Yeah! I'm not really gonna Iron Man it. Although, really, I've only died twice this whole game, folks, right? Right. I believe only twice. Anyway, neither here nor there. But, we've already uh, gone on a little while on this one, and this is the final level. This is the deepest part of the dungeon. This is the deepest dungeon, so this one will be extra spooky and awesome. So uh, you'll wanna you'll wanna stay tuned for that one next time, folks. Am I right? I'm right. Of course I'm right. I'm me. I'm Bobo the Vulture. I'm not always right, but when it comes to matters of Steambot Chronicles, I feel like I got a good intuition. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Steambot Chronicles, and I do thank you very much for watching. Goodbye now.